Hey, welcome. I'm Dr. Daniel Longquist. I'm a chiropractor and natural health practitioner. So some of my goals today are to educate you on some facts about parasites and how to kill them naturally so you and your loved ones can feel better and live the life you desire. Today, we're going to go over, if you choose, some ways to kill parasites and <clears throat> talk about some uh, common diseases that parasites can cause, conditions and symptoms, and what you can do about it. And the reason I say if you choose is because most people don't take action, even if they know what is right. Only 3% will step out of the routine and do what it takes. So most people think of reasons and excuses not to take action. So included in this webinar is a complimentary document I made that outlines the steps you can do uh, to start to kill parasites. And at the end of the, the webinar, I'll send this to everyone. So before I start, I want to give you an idea of the path that has led me to helping more people regain their health. I've always been interested in health, nutrition, and exercise. I went to Simon Fraser University in British Columbia, where I received my bachelor's degree in kinesiology. This is a study of human performance. From there, I went to Portland, Oregon, where I received a Doctor of Chiropractic degree, and then returned to Vancouver, where I began practice. And after a few years, I moved to Colorado, where I continued practicing and studying. And being a lifelong learner, I have never stopped educating myself on optimal health. Because of this, I went back to school and I received a postgraduate certification in spinal trauma and helped a lot of people recover from injuries such as car accidents. Then realizing there was more to health than injury care, I did another postgraduate training and became a certified wellness practitioner. This is a very intensive program teaching practitioners what people need to function optimally. I would guess that most practitioners really don't know what this is, what that is. And from there, I studied functional medicine. And even after all that and almost 30 years later, I still read about new health strategies daily. I can promise you that what you learned today has helped many, many people drastically change their life for the better. And if you are suffering from parasites, like most people, it can change yours also. So first, I want you to think about your why. What motivates you? So this is mine. The picture on the left are my mother and father on New Year's Eve 2017. My mother had done all the things right as far as diet, exercise, stress management, and nutrition. However, however, shortly after the picture on the left, she was diagnosed with peritoneal mesothelioma. And the picture on the right is three months later. Cancer had spread throughout the tissues lining her organs. And with traditional medical care, there is not a good prognosis. So you may be asking why I'm doing a talk on parasites and talking about cancer. And I will get to that. So because of my mother's condition, I set out to discover what the missing link was with what she had been doing to maintain her health and what was missing. And I found a missing link to the puzzle. And that's when I first developed a comprehensive detox and restore program, which is very effective. However, I began to realize that parasites hold on to heavy metals and environmental toxins that can lead to cancer. So it is important to kill the parasites also to achieve optimal health. And if you don't, the detoxing will not be as effective. So after researching parasite infections, I realized how prevalent they were and how many disease conditions they can contribute to. That's why I searched for another solution. So there's something we call three percenters. These are people who choose to change the world and change their own life. They make a choice to do something different. The other 97% listen to the excuses and let those excuses control them. The three percenters hear those excuses too, but they still choose to take action anyway. Every person listening here is here for a reason. You have a why that drives you. What is that for you? Is it so you can spend time with the ones you love, watch your grandkids grow up, go on an adventure that you've never been able to do. Maybe you have a burning desire to give back to the world around you, but your current condition won't allow that. What is your why? 
what would you be doing differently in your life if you could magically make all your health issues disappear? So we don't have any magic here, but we do have a solution. So now let's talk about parasites. A parasite is an organism that lives on or in a host organism and gets its food from or at the expense of the host. Without a host, a parasite cannot live, grow, and multiply. For this reason, it rarely kills the host, but it can spread diseases. Well, here are some of the more common types of parasites that can infect humans. There are flukes, tapeworms, hookworms, uh, giardia, threadworms, and roundworms, which are the most common type of parasite found. But people are, often wonder how common parasites are. So whether you're healthy or sick, it doesn't make a difference when it comes to parasites. In a recent medical, or recent medical studies, it's been estimated that 85% of the North American population has at least one or more parasites living in their bodies. And some authorities feel it's as high as 95%. So how do you get parasites? These pathogens make their way into our bodies through unclean water, shellfish, pork products, and other forms of contaminated food. It's also common to contract parasites from your pets, public restrooms, and commonly touched surfaces that you become in contact with. Do they always cause symptoms? Actually, they don't always cause symptoms. It's only when you experience an overload or infection of parasites that these organisms can cause a problem. And when parasites do cause symptoms, they can be life disrupting. I actually just read an article about an hour ago uh, how this one lady was suffering from um, abdominal pain for over 10 years and was in the hospital many times and did, they didn't find anything, but eventually they found a foot long worm in her stomach. So some common symptoms that people um, have when they have parasites are digestive problems, including unexplained constipation, diarrhea, or persistent gas, skin issues, including unexplained rashes, eczema, hives, and itching, muscle and joint pain, fatigue even when you get enough sleep, never feeling full even after a big meal, constant hunger even when you're eating enough, iron deficiency anemia, grinding your teeth during sleep, unexplained feelings of anxiety, recurrent yeast infections, or itching around the anus or vagina. Parasite infections are often overlooked, but it is a critical step in overcoming chronic health challenges, especially in very stubborn cases where someone just can't seem to get well. This may be a missing link. And using various strategies and herbs to kill the parasites can make a big difference in one's health. So let me give you a case study of someone I recently encountered. I have a patient that had been healthy, feeling great, and not being sick for over five years. However, late last year, she started suffering from one sickness after another. And she was even seen in the hospital and left with an over $20,000 medical bill, and that's with insurance. After all that, she had no relief of her symptoms, and they gave her no solution. So after talking with our office, we suspected uh, she had parasites, so I recommended a three-month parasite cleanse. And shortly after starting the parasite part of the cleanse, worms started coming out in her stool. And she even had to pull one out. Now let's talk about the different types of parasites. There's three main types. However, there are many different kinds of parasites. 
The three main types are helminths, protozoans, and ectoparasites. So helminths are a type of parasite of worms that live inside the GI tract. They can contribute to long-term, sometimes severe chronic health problems because of the way they de deplete the body's resources. The most common types of helminths are tapeworms, roundworms, flatworms, hookworms, whipworms. They can cause digestive problems, including mood swings, abdominal pain, brain fog, and weight loss. Hookworms can work their way outside of the gut lining and feed on the blood, leading to anemia. And there's tapeworms. These are types of flatworms that live inside the intestine and can grow up to 35 feet long and they lay close to 1 million eggs per day. They eat the food that you eat and can cause feelings of constant hunger and are commonly contracted through eating undercooked contaminated meat. How would you like to pull one of those out of you? The next are protozoans. These are single-celled protozoan parasites like Giardia can multiply in your body and contribute to acute health issues such as extreme diarrhea. If left untreated, this could lead to severe dehydration and even death. And the next kind are ectoparasites. These are the ones that live on rather than in you. They include lice and fleas. So now to what you came here for, how do you kill parasites? If you suspect you have parasites, there are effective natural ways to kill them. So now I'm going to talk about our top natural anti-parasitic herbs and recommendations. So I think the most powerful one is Mimosa pudica. It has a remarkable ability to eradicate parasites. The mimosa pudica seeds consist of a very gooey, sticky, fat-soluble material that adheres to everything and helps support the entire intestinal tract. This herb can help to bind and pull out parasites. I do want to point out that I recommend the seed portion of mimosa pudica, not the rest of the plant, like most products on the market, because there have actually been reports saying it of effects of infertility if you take the whole plant, but not the seeds. And Kutaja. This promotes optimal digestive and elimination of the toxins of your body. And Vidanga. And this quite possibly be the most widely used and powerful herb for killing parasites and healing infections of all kind including bacterial, fungal, etc. Neem is the next one. It's a powerful antimicrobial that is classically used in Eastern healing arts called Ayurvedic medicine. There are many compounds within neem that make it so effective. Neem also contains antioxidant compounds. And I know I'm going through these fast, however, remember, I'm going to send you a document at the end of this that lists all these um, herbs so you can feel free to get them on your own. And trifala, is that, this is actually a mixture of three beneficial fruits. It takes advantage of the synergy that comes from their mixture and promotes digestive health via phytochemicals. Additionally, it contains gallic and elagic acids, which are beneficial for blood sugar levels. And this is very important in treating parasites since they feed on sugar, so you'll need to be on a low sugar diet. And 
clove. Clove has the ability to assist the body in efforts to remove bacteria because it is high in antioxidants and it's very effective at killing parasites. And then extracts of fulvic acids. These consist of long and short chain carbons that aid the body in its efforts to remove toxins systemically. Okay, so we just covered many different herbs for killing parasites. However, I'm sure people still have questions. I'm gonna go through some of the questions and I also wanna let everyone know there is a solution if you decide that it's too hard to try and find all these herbs on your own and what the best way to take them is. We do have a safe and effective parasite cleanse um, that I'm gonna go through. And for this part, you can take notes if you'd like um, because it is something you're welcome to do on your own. But for those people that don't want to, I wanna let everyone know we do have a solution to make it easy. Okay. So here's a slide just showing what's in our complete parasite cleanse. And I'm gonna go through some of these in a little more detail, just explaining uh, the process and what's in them. So having encountered many clients with challenging parasites in their system, this powerful protocol has helped them eliminate parasites safely and effective, effectively. These products are clinically formulated, enhanced dietary supplements that are specifically designed to provide a unique blend of antimicrobial herbal compounds. So it's important to know that you can't start any parasite cleanse or detox protocol without first getting the downstream pathways working. Think of it as a funnel with the narrow part at the end of your colon. If that's plugged or not working correctly, everything else will get backed up. Your liver, kidneys, lymphatics, all need to be working properly. And if they're not, you, you'll most likely suffer severe reactions from the toxins released from, in your system because when you kill parasites, toxins are released and it's very important your pathways are working to get rid of those. And that's why in our parasite program, we have a month prep phase prior to killing the parasites, just to prevent uh, those detox reactions. Then once you start killing parasites, our para one is the first product I'll go over. This, is, this has a mimosa pudica seed in it. It pulls out toxins and parasites and elements are then flushed out of the system, which help to avoid normal die-off symptoms. The mimosa pudica seed works its way through the intestinal walls, scraping and scrubbing and pulling out toxins, heavy metals, biofilms, and other unwanted elements that are attached to the intestinal walls. And there's also para-2. This is a multi-herb formula that has many of the herbs we just talked about. And it's specifically designed for powerful immune and digestive support. And the proprietary blend includes multiple ingredients whose properties maximize the body's ability to boost immune function and detoxification. And one other critical component is our biotoxin binder. This acts systemically and contains a special form of carbon that has enhanced binding ability. It also contains wild crafted yucca root and extracts of fulvic acid. It's specially formulated to support binding specific biotoxins like mycotoxins from mold and ammonia. 
as well as bacteria, parasites, and other byproducts from yeast, fungi, and viruses. Well, nutrition is also very important. Parasites eat what you do. So depending on what your diet consists of, you either feeding or killing the parasites. It's also crucial to rebuild the gut and immune system during a parasite cleanse. Parasites love sugar, so it's absolutely necessary to avoid sugar and limit your intake of foods that are converted into sugar after you consume them. So even healthy foods such as fruits, fruit juices, should be avoided during a parasite cleanse. These foods contain sugar that feed the parasites. Additionally, performing regular fasts along with specific cleansing strategies can help accelerate the process. Fasting helps to starve unwanted microbes in the gut while also reducing the burden of digestion, allowing it to heal much more quickly. While cleansing, it is important to drink lots of water. Adding acids from lemons, limes, and apple cider vinegar, as well as things like oregano essential oil will assist in the cleansing process. It's also important to do lots of salts like Himalayan sea salt or organic bone broth to maintain mineral balance. And then there's healing of the gut. The presence of an infection can cause a lot of damage to the mucosal barrier, intestinal lining and overall digestive function. That's why when fighting a parasite, you want to make sure you're following a gut healing protocol. The goal is to eliminate pathogens and build up your gut health to prevent it from returning. Otherwise, you can end up with more problems down the road. But for those who don't want to do this all on their own, if you choose to do our parasite uh, detox and cleansing program, we've made it very easy to follow. The supplements will either be sent directly to you or you can pick them up at our Grand Junction office if you live near, near here. All the dietary education and instructions will be easily accessible and available online through your computer or through an app you can download to your smartphone. Parasitic infection can cause the body to suffer frustrating and elusive symptoms. Conventional medicine does have solutions, but they are often very harsh on the digestive tract and can lead to other problems. Following our complete parasite cleanse and restore program can help strengthen your gut while killing parasites. And in doing this, you can help protect yourself from ever having to go through these troubles again. Well, here are a few testimonials. So Dave M says, never, never have seen anything as effective and yet gentle to take, and I've tried more things than I can remember. This is about four months in, and an amazing never-ending parasite flow keeps coming out. Highly recommend this product. Sandra says, it's just lovely to say goodbye to these large interlopers. Mine have surfaced only eight days since starting the protocol. And Eddie says, this stuff works better than anything else I've tried. Starts clearing things out in a couple days. After a month, I feel so much stronger and healthier than I have in ages. If any, anyone thinks they might benefit from the parasite cleanse, what I am offering is a complimentary consultation just to discuss, discuss your health issues to see if it's possible that our parasite cleanse might be a benefit to you. So what you can do is you can go to bthwellnesscenter.com forward slash complete dash parasite dash cleanse and there there is a link to sign up for the complimentary consultation. Also, the document I'm gonna send you right now at the end has a link to this, so you don't have to write this down. So.
All right, well, I want to thank everyone for coming and hope you have a great evening. Hope there's something I can help you with in the future. Feel free to contact us.